are to pledge that you won't drive under the influence or get into a car with someone who's under the influence to prevent accidents. Okay, and uh, what is this like organization called? Uh, we're Friday Night Live. Right now we are basically celebrating Casey's pledge. Casey was a girl who was on her way home from college to her mom's surprise birthday party and she was hit by an 18 year old who was drunk and was driving. Oh. And she was killed. Yeah. And uh, what is your name? My name is Stacy, and I'm with Cogswell College. And uh, what is Cogswell College? So we are an engineering and art school out of San Jose. We're a four-year college. Oh, uh, we're WASP accredited, so you will receive a bachelor's good? degree. It's a little loud. Okay. And uh, what what can we yeah. look for right. like when we go to Cogswell College? Definitely. So uh, we are a are smaller private yeah. college. We only have about is 600 students on or campus. Or um, or with that, we have the opportunity to keep our classroom great. sizes okay, small, at no more than 14 students in each classroom. That way, you're able to get more of that one-on-one -on -one with your peers, your instructors. And we only have five majors that we offer at Cogswell. So we have a digital art and animation program, a gaming program. There's business, music, and computer science. That sounds interesting actually. But uh, how can we join if we're interested? So you can sign up um, by going on our website. I'm here today at the college fair, so um, you can fill out a card and our advisors can contact you with any questions. Okay, thank you for your time. Of course, thank you. I work for the city of West so, uh, Sacramento in the Human Resources Department. Oh, I'm yeah. here today at oh, yeah. can, you, can you say, uh, state your name and spell? Sure, I'm Sarah Holly. I'm S is our A, K, D, E, L, W, E, H. We have to be at least your junior, senior, at least 16 years older, um, to um, graduate students. Um, it's how to get your foot in the door to work for the government. It's a great opportunity. We have eight departments, and each department is going to have at least two interns. So it's a way for people to figure out like, what the city does, because it is right down the street, um, and get paid for it. So it's a great opportunity. All right, so can it help me get into like the FBI or something? Oh. The FBI, that's a different agency, but government is government, so if you can start somewhere small at the city, you can work your way up, um, and there's no other uh, experience like it, it's a great opportunity. Okay, so if anyone's interested in joining, how would they join? So you just go to the city of westsacramento.org, our main website. If you find city employment, you're going to see all eight of these recruitments, and they're by main um, department. So each department's highlighted in bold, and then you could just read what each intern will be doing, and just apply from there. It's really easy, really simple. Okay, thank you for your time. You're welcome. I'm looking at different colleges. But like, any colleges in mind at all, or no? No. No. What grade are you in right now? I'm a sophomore. Okay, so you don't really have to think about that, but like, do you have any career paths you're looking into or anything? Mm-hmm, or like psychology. Psychology. I don't know if there's any psychology around, is it? No. No. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't know any other questions to ask at the moment. Uh, uh, Whatever, it doesn't matter. We could just cut it or something. Yeah, cut it. Okay. And uh, what can we expect from this EMT program? Me, this EMT program uh, just, is one is semester long. I see it's like it an EMT program. It's two days program. a week, okay. five hours right. a day. It's a pretty so, intense program. Just for uh, and it would just so we can put your name in. Can you state your name and spell it? On an Lori Thompson, L O R I T H O M S O N. You could work in a okay. hospital as well. They use emergency medical technicians for that. It does require some additional testing after the class. It's pretty intense. And. Uh, how would anyone interested join? You have to be 18 years of age, so graduate from high school, and uh, you would register at Woodland Community College, just like a normal student, sign up for the class. There is some background testing and drug testing that takes place as well, but just like a regular student. Okay, that's all. Thank, Thank you. you. So Computer for Kids is a nonprofit organization. Right. Uh, what we do right, first is question we is help be the those easiest. who can't afford to get right, a computer. Can you state your name and spell Get a computer for free. My name is Vicente so Garcia. That's any student I -E see uh, free and reduced in income. They can okay. or lunch. My bad. And uh, um, what is computers for qualified kids? Qualified to get a free computer from us. Here's an example of what we give out. So you get a computer that's similar to this, monitor that's similar to this, and keyboard and mouse. Okay. So uh, anyone that wants to qualify, where would they go to like sign up? Or? So for anyone who wants to um, volunteer, we do have um, our form here, a volunteer sheet. They could pick one up and all the information for volunteering is on this piece of paper. They could give us a call on the number given. Our number is 916-572-1152. Uh, this is for volunteering. For um, anyone who wants to get a free computer from us, 
here's the form. All they do is pick up a form like this and they fill it out and take it to, I believe, Jason in the Career Center and he will sign off on it. And then from there, you can give us a call and you can get a free computer from us. Okay. So urbansteam.org, Urban yeah, not .com, College, you'll get a coffee College shop, and career unless pathways. you want coffee. So, uh, we All right, thank you. Thank, thank you so traditionally much. traditionally difficult to access, uh, mainly because of um, money. So uh, we're a new nonprofit, brand new. We're starting new programs on, in August in the new school year. We've got a learn to fly program. We can do it at about a third of the cost. You will graduate high school with a private pilot's license and Right now, the airlines, because we have such a huge pilot shortage, are giving about 40,000 to 110,000 scholarships to get you your commercial rating and then fly for them. So you'll be making six figures within just a few years out of high school. We also have a build a plane. We're gonna build a plane from the ground up, not a remote plane, an actual FA certified aircraft that you can fly. Ooh. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. So, um, so yeah, and then you can also get your drone certification and make money Fly drones get paid. You can make money charging people to fly for uh, real estate missions, uh, insurance, all kinds of different um, different applications. Uh, so that's what we're starting out with. And then we've got the A in STEAM is for arts, of course. Coming soon, we're going to have a teaching pathway and we're going to make a movie. We're not going to teach you how to make a movie. We're going to make a feature film to be released in theaters we're gonna actually make a feature film. And we've made four, our first one's coming out. If you know Mark S. Allen, uh, he has made four movies and our first one's coming out in July. It's called Apparition. Come see us in the theaters. And come join us and make our next movie. Wow, there's a lot going on oh, here. Wow. <laughs> yeah.